to any guy out there. If you're not willing to die for the girl that you're with, yeah. don't marry her. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Ray here. I'm with Sol. We're at Big Church Festival and we've had a wonderful weekend. We have met so many married couples, people that met on Sol, so we're absolutely buzzing about that. But we thought it would be fun to just chat with a few people, ask some questions about embarrassing dating stories, their best advice about dating, singleness, marriage, and other pearls of wisdom. So um, yeah, we're gonna go and find some people now. Okay, ladies, so have you got any awkward moments that have happened in your dating life, any embarrassing stories that have happened? There's, there's, yes, hundreds probably. <laughs> Once, um, like so on the online dating scene, um, went on a date with someone and he was running about half an hour late and then he come to the date with um, his paperwork, which was all uh, for his depression, paperwork straight from his counselling appointment. So then I spent the whole date giving him a counselling session. <laughs> Not quite ready to date, perhaps him. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I, I don't think I, I don't think I've had I have had awkward moments. I've had b bad dates in in yeah. ways of my mind wasn't there mm. and I shouldn't have even gone on a date. Yeah. And then, then I probably appeared a very boring word, one wordy because my mind is so in so many yeah. other places. So but yeah, no yeah, embarrassing yeah. moments from my side. It was locked down and I just it was on Tinder or whatever and I just um, this girl messaged me or whatever. I was like, yeah, we'll go out and then after I asked her out, I realised that obviously there was nothing open. So we just wandered around Liverpool for like two hours and it was just like, yeah, how's your day going? Good, yeah. Oh no, yeah. was it like awkward conversation? It wasn't yeah, so... okay. really awkward. Yeah, but two hours, that's like a long time yeah, to like not be like, vibing. Yeah, well she hadn't really been, so I, was like, I took around a bit of Liverpool and stuff, but I was yeah. like, well, I can get you a coffee. We couldn't even sit inside for a coffee. Yeah, yeah. Not that I drink coffee, but... <laughs> on there so Ooh. all of a sudden I'm I'm like uh, so for me for example I only want I'm only looking for a guy that's uh, five foot eleven and up yeah and I'm and I'm saying no 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 too short but but then if I was out and about yeah and I met someone that was the same height as me and you could connect easily and then so there could be all these people on there that yeah. um, that I've missed out on because I'm and it is I second that yeah it's so true. It, it, especially when you like when you feel that energy as well, like, cause you could, you could match yeah. with like the hottest person and then you meet up with them and they're oh, just like- yeah, we've been there. Oh. Yeah. Some people are using those apps and stuff for maybe validation, something for like sure. that. You know, like people yeah. use Tinder cause they're like, oh yeah, I wanna know how many swipes I've got. Yeah, well, for sure. I'm not saying Christians will do that, but we are yeah. still all human. Yeah, you know, of course, all, yeah. Our, you know, we, we all like it when someone likes a photo, so we all do yeah, that, sure. you know? So naturally we're gonna be, if, if we do that, we're gonna be like, oh no, why, why is this person like me? You know, then after that, it's no longer, you know, longer doing it for the right reasons yeah you know it's, it's a selfish reason you know it's a fleshly reason yeah you know oh you just want the validation you just want yeah, yeah it's yeah 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 yeah, yeah i think um with online dating, it's uh, really important as a Christian not to use the secular online dating app. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So I know they, some they, do yeah. they use all of those, but I, and yeah. I know the pe the other people who are on there are looking for a different thing. Yeah, yeah. So using something like salt is really important because it's other Christians on there. Yeah, yeah. They're looking for the same thing essentially. It makes you feel more desperate yeah. than you actually are. Like, yeah. oh, I'm okay. Like, I'm happy. I'm content. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, because I'm on there, I feel like. Like, like I'm more desperate and yeah. I know that I'm not I'm okay yeah. what are your thoughts on online dating I think that's the way things are like meeting people yeah. in person but um, I, yeah, think, yeah. I think now everything's on a phone or app so that's how you meet people these days but if I could meet people in person that's me personally yeah but if someone's now met online I get it now yeah yes, totally yes. Yeah. it is weird isn't it because in this generation now I feel like like dating apps used to be like I don't know maybe you're embarrassed to do it but now it's so normal people yeah. are just going on dating apps all the time aren't they I think well, it's, I, I think that, like it says in the Bible, everything can be used for good for those yeah. who believe. So I Amen. mean, obviously, there's a um, there's a big risk with online dating because yeah. especially people are underage and, yeah. and all those like safeguarding issues. Sure. But I also have heard of people meeting the love of their life on online yeah. dating. Yeah, I met my and, husband on and, Salt. And, and, you know, That's my husband. Risky. Risky. Because you don't know. 
you're actually like talking to a legitimate person or not. Yeah, or, sure. Yeah, um, I don't know, but then like you could meet someone great, so I'd, like, I don't know, I haven't really done a lot of this. <laughs> you've had about either being single or dating or even marriage down the line or just relationships in general I think I hate I used to hate it when people go you have to love yourself before you can love anyone and all of that yeah. sort of, oh, everyone that was married and happy would always yeah. say we always say this all yeah. the cliches you need to love yourself first and all that but actually I think there is a lot of truth in that yes um, totally. as much as I hated hearing it like yeah. now actually I'm I'm so much happier and think myself yeah um I found I think it sounds cliche, but yeah. literally just be, being yourself mm, and yeah. kind of being unapologetic about that. And if someone doesn't appreciate you for just being you, then maybe they're not the right person. Yeah. And it's nothing to do with you internally. You don't have to change who you are because naturally in a relationship, you're going to end up being yourself anyway. I don't know if it's like, this is for me, or if this is like a great thing for all Christians. Yeah. But for me, I know that I'm not ready to date until I'm ready to marry. Yeah, date to marry. Yeah. Wow, okay. Um, because like you know I feel like I need to be completely right with God and right as a man as yeah, a man of God you know, to, to even that. step into uh, dating if you like but I, don't, I don't know if I want to date a bunch yeah. of different people I just want to find that one girl who I want to marry a lot of my friends are I'm now married or getting married yeah and I'm the I, I was the majority single single ones now I'm in the minority now yeah, and yeah. Um, just watching how they all patient with each other how they understand the value of time away and time with each other as yeah. well and um yeah and communication communication mm. communication you're often gonna hear this a lot mm. and it's just like yeah how they communicate how they feel emotionally and not let things build up and um something small could build up to something huge if you don't even have a conversation about it I always remember the one uh saying if you pray together you'll stay together <laughs> this video and they've just broken up with someone they're heartbroken what advice would you give them go to church <laughs> go to church yeah great advice um, yeah get yeah. surrounded with community people are lovely yeah no for me it. surround so, yourself with other love yeah like, it's not it's not just a man yeah or a partner yes yeah, yeah definitely yeah um because i'm in the, i'm in this place right now yeah so yeah, um yeah. i just uh keep yourself busy yeah and um and work out all the things that you love um, and things that you enjoy. I said to her, it was a Friday night, I said, oh, what are you up to Friday night? And she was like, oh, no, no, I've got, um, what kind of party was it? 80s party. I've got an 80s party. And I was like, oh, where's that? And she said, oh, in, in my front room. It's it's in my diary. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Like, There's only one invitation, and it's me. <laughs> Say, oh, I love yeah. I and, uh, it. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, an so 80s dance party. Yeah. Diary. You put it on your phone, so then it comes up, and you're like, oh no, I've got that important thing. Yeah. I love so that. it's a, like it's a to do. So um, I'll do 80s, and then I might do boy bands, or I might do girl power. Oh, I love um, that. And then it's every two weeks on a Friday night, um, and I, I will have I'll have a house party with just me. That's and actually, actually dogs. And, and, dogs. and my dogs. Yeah. That's and iconic. I'll, and I'll, I will I will dance. I'll get my mirror because I like I love dancing in front of a mirror yeah, and I'll yeah. get like a fake microphone and I'll do that. <laughs> yes, um, I you actually wear heels as well. I do, yeah, I wear heels, I get she dressed up and everything. Oh, right. iconic. Really? Just, it's on my bucket list to go on holiday by myself. Yeah. So I'm going to Mallorca in September for three nights. I thought I'd try it Yeah, sure. yeah. All inclusive. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pack my own bag, get myself to the airport. It gives me confidence, makes me feel of good course. about myself. And by being like that, then yeah. I'm in a better place to be dating someone. Absolutely. I bet you there'll be people watching this that will do that. They will, they will take that advice next.
I need to learn in myself and what I want in a partner. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Not just rushing in for the for the sort of fleshy comfort needs of yeah. like I need a cuddle or I need this and that. It's like it's yeah. actually so much more than just that. If there's people watching this, right? So maybe some guys and they're messing women of God around. What would you say? Now, if you want to play with something, don't yeah. play football. Don't play an <laughs> instrument. But don't play with someone's heart. Yes, mate. I love at the that. End of the day, at the end of the day, all you're doing when you're messing girls around yeah. is that they're going to uh, land up broken hearted. Yeah. And you're going to land up with a lot of soul ties. Yes, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's And so, so you're going to you're going to you're going to find yourself giving yourself away uh, you know to you know tens of different women and yeah. you're going to feel like what you're really telling yourself is you're not really worth that much. Yeah. And that's going to catch up to you eventually. So mm, just true, have yeah. some self-discipline. Yeah. Seek Jesus. I think um when you when if there's a guy messing women around, you've got to kind of imagine what if that was your daughter, you know? Yeah. You don't want you don't want your daughter being treated by a guy like that. Yeah. Or your sister, yeah, sure. Your sister. Um, yeah. Mom, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And any woman that's kind of close to you in your family, yeah. what if what if that girl that you're messing around was them? Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you you wouldn't put up with it at all. Yeah, so, totally. um, so yeah. Just for anyone out there that thinks I don't know what I'm talking about, I used to be a good player. Yeah, right. So I know exactly yeah. I know exactly what it feels like to think that you're so cool and then you take yeah. a look at your life one day and you're like, I've, I have no emotional connections to show yeah. for all of this energy that I've spent. Right. And it's not only me who's affected, yeah. but I've hurt so many people along the way. Yeah. So just, just, just turn away from it now. To any guy out there, if you're not willing to die for the girl that you're with, yeah. don't marry her. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> you have to be willing to die for her. That's like baseline. That's just the foundation. That's like yeah. everything else on top of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. We had so much fun. We had some incredible conversations and met some glorious people, honestly. Um, and we will see you next year at Big Church Festival. And it's been so good actually meeting people face to face. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.